Hello. I had this thought about the SY300. It sounds very violin-y when you play a violin through it, and it doesn't sound very violin-y when you play a guitar through it, so I'm thinking maybe the extra harmonics in the violin sound make the SY300 behave differently. Maybe it's hearing the upper harmonics and generating those on top of the fundamental. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try the SY300 with various different instruments just to see what sort of noise that it makes. So there's a bridge violin here, I'm going to try a sine wave, I'm going to try a guitar and I'm going to try a different violin and just see what happens. Got the SY300 here, I've got a very basic patch, single sort, wave, nothing else, all the other oscillators are disabled. And let's see what it does. So, first thing I'm going to try is a sine wave. Start with the, the simplest thing you can, most pure sound. And to do that I have the Digitone set up to generate a sine wave. I had the Digitone here anyway because it's, I'm using it for rehearsals, but because, of, because it's FM, it will generate nice sine waves, which analog synths tend not to do. So let's see what the Digitone does. Uh, I don't know why that LX. Door one. I've turned all the effects off as well. All these are all zero. So here's an A. Beauty cam there. Let's put the SY300 on. Nice standard side wave. Just nice standard sawtooth wave. Okay. So here's my bridge violin. I'm going to give you an open A. So there's no vibrato on me mucking about with the sound. So again we've got decay, just to get the idea of that. So here's a different violin. This is my bridge oct octave violin. So I'm going to play the opening again. So this is also I'm going to play the opening again. Of course, it's going to be an octave lower than the uh, last one. And now with this Y300 on. Right, so this is a Violarama electric violin. This is so new that I'm the only person that's actually got one at the moment, I think. So it's quite a nice acoustic sound. So we'll get that now, the A string there. And here is, just for completeness, here's a guitar. Um, I haven't got a strap on it, so it's going to be a bit awkward. I'm going to try and find an A here, just so you could have, so it sounds a bit similar. Actually, no, I'm going to have an open, an open B, which has different notes, but uh, as I've been comparing open strings. Let's do that, so. Uh, 
there we go. So, always difficult drawing conclusions. Um, I'm not quite as an as to go and stick those through a spectrum analyzer and have a look at them. Feel free to do that and let me know if you do. I think the conclusion is though that they do sound very different. Different instruments put in the SY300. It does seem to be reacting to different harmonics. So you find that, I, know, I mean I appreciate that the octave has a lower sound, but it seems richer in harmonics than the uh, the normal violin. The very acoustic one, again a lot more upper harmonics again if we're going to use, if I, I've not used this with the SY300 yet because it's so damn new. Um, it's going to get a lot more filtering if I use this one with the guitar synth. Guitar, very sort of dead, boring sound, but that's guitars for you. Uh, yeah, I think that was very interesting. And that third violin, you never saw it. Bye. How do you play this thing again?